Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name's Paulina and I am sharing my family's financial journey to becoming debt free. I am currently debt free. As of right now, we are in a saving mode. We're trying to save every little penny that we can to put towards the building of our forever home. Our home is currently being built right now. So I'll be sharing with you guys that journey. So in my channel, I do cash stuffing envelope videos. I also share with you guys some of the stuff that has gone through through this financial journey and anything that I feel that can help anybody, I'll be sharing with you guys that. So I suggest you hit the subscribe button if you wanna follow us in our journey. But today's video is going to be a paycheck budget with me video and it's gonna be for my November first paycheck and this paycheck is my husband's paycheck so I won't be sharing with you guys his income but I believe the last time I shared his income was roughly around April March so you guys can always go back and look and then that way you guys can see roughly around the income that he got but okay so the current leftover that I'm going to budget is $253.71. And that is just because I believe I have $600, $657 from last paycheck that I got. So I'm just going to leave the $200 because I want to build a little cushion in my checking account. Because now here in Utah, our COVID numbers have gone up really quick so a lot of stores aren't accepting cash so just in case they don't I have that little cushion for the meantime till I deposit the money in okay and so with the first paycheck of each month I like to pay all our bills that way we the remaining of the checks can be used for our cash envelopes or for savings like we are currently doing so the first one is T-Mobile And Team Bobble, I already got the notification text how much it's going to be. So $211 was 17 cents. So that won't change. The next one is Wiggy Wash. And Wiggy Wash is a car, what is it? A car wash service. And we do it for two cars. Since my husband does Uber over the weekends, he uses that a lot, so $35.98 for two cars. And then the gym membership, it's $13.39. Okay, and then we have Netflix. That's $12.99 each month. And then we got Disney Plus, and that's D Disney Plus and Hulu together. And it's $13.93. Okay, and then for our storage unit, since we are currently building our house, we are living at my mom's house, so we put a lot of our furniture, a lot of our stuff in storage, and that is $63 per month. The next one is our car insurance, and that's State Farm, and we pay $214.32, okay? So now I'm going to add it up. Okay, so 211 17 plus 35.98 plus 13.39 plus 12.99 plus 13.93 plus 63 dollars plus 214.32 is a total. What? That is not. 211 17 plus 35.98 plus 13.39 plus $12.99 plus $13.93 plus $63 plus $214.32 there we go it comes out to be $564 with 78 cents just for our current bills we have so I have no debt right now and I plan to keep it um, the only debt that we'll have is once we um, move into our house once it's done build then we'll have our mortgage but as of right now these are just our normal utility bills that will never go away okay the next one is our i'm going to zoom you guys in our cash envelopes 
And so for our cash envelopes, we do fuel, and that's $55. And then my husband's allowance and my allowance, these are both $20 each. Okay. And then for my parents, since we are living in my parents' house, I pay them $150 with the first check and then $150 again with the third paycheck of each month. So it's $150. And then for my stockpile, and for those of you that are new, my stockpile is, I use coupons to buy laundry detergent, toilet paper, paper towels, anything that's not going to go bad, toothpaste, that way when we do move into our house, we have a little stockpile going on. So that's $30. And now I'm going to add these up. So 55 plus 20 plus 20 plus 150 plus 30 is a total of 275. Okay. The next one is my sinking funds and my sinking funds I have Christmas, my house fund, family fund. And back to school, and this is for next school year, which is 21. For Christmas, I am doing $45. For my house fund, this is going to go towards anything like new furniture. I do need to get my two older kids' beds because we sold the other ones. Um, just certain things that we need, then this is going to go towards it. We have a little cushion that's going on to start. We also do need to get like blinds. Let's see what else. Um, our yard. So everything that we're saving after we're done giving the down payment for our house, the remaining will go towards the stuff that we do need. Um, family fun, $30. And we use our family fun. Like if the kids want to order pizza, get drinks, just whatever, $30. Um, and then for back to school, I am adding $30 for back to school. So I'm going to add these 45 plus 135 plus 30 plus 30 is a total of $240. Okay. And then for savings, I always do $100 into savings. It doesn't matter what. I just like to build my savings cushion up as I'm paying everything. That way you always are building savings. So it's always $100 towards savings. Okay, but this is it for my paycheck budget. On Saturdays, I like to upload my cash stuffing envelope video. So you'll see this video on, I think, Saturday or maybe Sunday. Yeah, Saturday or maybe Sunday. Depends if they deposit my husband's check before. But anyways, but this is it for this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey. And I will see you next time. Bye.